my channel. So today I'm going to be updating you guys on our IUI appointment which happened 10 days ago. I'm so sorry. I did record a video and the quality just wasn't good and I didn't have time. Well that's a lie because I've been off work for the last week so I had time but I just wanted to chill out. I took this week to be a chill out week. Um, but I'm back and I'm finally recording the video and I will be back recording videos this week hopefully. So yes, our IUI appointment was on the 21st of March and we went in feeling very, I don't know, open-minded, I would say, um, even though this one was more information-wise. Um, and we went in and the place was empty. Mind you, there was a fire alarm going off when we went into the hospital in the first place. Um, but we went in, we sat for like 10 minutes and then we got called in. And they did say the appointment was going to last for about an hour. And we were in there for like 45 minutes, so it was okay. Um, but the full time we were there, Matthew was sitting and he could just see that he just wasn't relaxed throughout the whole appointment because when we were reading up on all our paperwork, it said that he had to get bloods taken and Matthew hates getting his bloods taken. If you haven't <laughs> heard before, Matthew fainted the last time when I got an internal scan done. So it's not about blood, it's just that he, the older he gets, the more he doesn't like things. I think that's what it is. Um, but we were sitting and then the lady started like talking, the nurse started talking through everything and he went, excuse me, I'm so sorry, but are we getting bloods taken today? And she's like, no, 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 I'm hoping to take the next one. And it was just like, he just done, finally relax sort of thing so um that's just a little kind of side note on the whole appointment but yeah our appointment went great it's the first appointment that I've came out of feeling so positive and happy even Matthew noticed how positive and happy I was when we left he was like I don't think I've ever seen you like this before you just seem so much more relaxed and happier about everything and I think it's because this one it was us basically signing everything to say that everything was fine and that we were basically ready to go whenever my body was basically so I was so happy about everything we went in and she went over everything that we had looked at and obviously they told they tell us to not to sign anything because they obviously have to explain everything before we sign anything so we just fill out what we can on the sheets and we done all that kind of read in everything and then when we were there they basically just go over everything again so it was fine and we went in and it was just paperwork all the time she did laugh as well she was like can you just sign here again sign here again sign here but basically the questions are just like um going over all my blood results that they'd taken the last time swab results everything came back absolutely fine i'm above average for my blood i was so happy um and that meant matthew didn't have to get the blood test done that i had got done because if it came back that i had the condition then he would have to have got tested as well um so that is Fine, everything was absolutely fine and I knew I didn't have the condition because I've been tested for it before and what else did they talk about they were talking about um if anything was to happen so if we were in the middle of a treatment and something happened to Matthew for instance this is the whole thing that they said um if something happened to Matthew and we were about to go through with the treatment like if he stepped out and got hit by a bus basically this is the example the nurse used and we were in the hospital and would it be still be fine for me to go through with the whole treatment and Matthew said it's absolutely fine so he signs a thing for that then they ask if they can use any of our stuff in medical research so basically Matthew's sperm or anything that comes from me and um, they can use that in medical research and um, they don't use it on anyone else that she has to obviously put that in just in case people are like um why are you giving my sperm to someone else sort of thing so they don't use anything like that that's a donor side of things that's completely different um what else happened? I feel like there was just so much information that we took everything in and basically when I take my next period I have to phone them on that day and I basically get booked in. I get booked in to get my bloods done and I get booked in to when I will go in for my day 21 which will be the day where like before that they will also give me my stuff to shut my body down so they put your body into menopause and so they can control everything that happens so the only good thing about it was when we went for our appointment I had literally just finished a period so I knew that I didn't have to wait a couple months before I knew that I had to track another period so that was good so technically we still have a month of trying if anything happens this month then we don't have to go through with that and if it doesn't then we're obviously going to go through with our IUI so yeah I don't know if I'm tracking ovulation this month I do have ovulation tests sitting there but I don't know if I'm going to use them so I will keep everyone updated on Instagram with that one I usually post a little insta story when I do take the test so keep an eye out on that um what else happened I don't think what else happened at the appointment this is basically just an update from what happened from the appointment till now and as I said I don't know if I'm ovulating right now 
um, but I might take a test later or tomorrow because I feel like tomorrow is probably going to be my peak day. Um, so I will check tomorrow and I will put a little Insta video on. If you don't follow us on Instagram, I will put it down here somewhere and you can start to follow us on there because I do update on there every second day or every day just depending on how I'm feeling because it's a lot more easier for me to get on Instagram than it is to video a video and put it on YouTube because I need to edit the video all that kind of stuff and then set up all my lights and stuff so I need to get uh, all that sorted but they did give me another one of these little forms with our appointment so it's basically just a little information form they went over it all before um i done it before and i know this this is it, what our picture was of me and matthew when we were all happy about being told that we were getting on the list for iui and we got an appointment within like a few weeks so it was quite fast and then they give you your treatment card let me just make sure that you're not getting my address or anything on this they give you your treatment card and she's written down what we have to phone and when we get booked in and then she's underlined her number just in case we need to contact her and this is basically everything that they fill this and you take this to every single one of your appointments and they fill in what they do um so began using nasal spray um seven o'clock in the morning 12 6 p.m and 11 p.m so they're lucky that i'm up in the morning i get up really early for work and i'm always up Late at night anyway so and then the first day of your next period and all that kind of stuff so basically we should be starting in around may time that's when i've kind of figured everything out for so um i don't know what they're going to do sort of thing so um yeah so everything that we need is on this and yeah i feel like when we went in as i said we were very open-minded we were just really waiting to see what they were going to say to us and when I went in and when I left I was a completely different person we were sitting in the car and Matthew was just like you just seem so much more happier and even he felt more happier because he knew that I was happy about everything and I was so happy that everything had went as I'd hoped it would have went and he was happy because he knew that this was us finally on that right path we're finally on that path and because I had been feeling down everyone feels down especially anyone who goes through a fertility treatment it is so hard it's one of the most stressful things you'll ever have to go through and obviously there is other things out there but this is one of the most stressful things that I've ever went through I've always been a happy kind of person obviously I had my down days but it wasn't until we started like maybe a year, a year and a half into trying for a baby when I realised I wasn't happy about anything I wasn't my normal self i just didn't feel myself and it's okay that's why i started on instagram not that long ago because i felt like there is so many more people out there who go through this and why not connect with them and communicate with them and let them know how you feel and they can let you know how they feel sort of thing so we're all there for one another and it's a nice thing it's nice to know that there is loads of other people out there who are going through everything and i follow everyone's journey and there is many people out there who have been successful and gotten pregnant and i'm happy for them i'm 100 percent happy for anyone who gets pregnant um obviously it's, it hits you like you're like oh my goodness why is it them and not me sort of thing but you're always going to be happy for them no matter what like it's so so stressful this and anyone who is planning on starting a family don't worry if it doesn't happen it will happen you just have to think positively and i always i have my down days some mornings or some nights i'll be in bed with matthew and we could just be having a conversation and then i would just cry i would just like shed a little tear and he's like it's fine it's going to happen so he's he's more positive whereas i'm kind of thinking about the negative side of things whereas i do think of the positive at the same time so in between everything so it's very stressful and you do have to realize that when you're going through the treatment you can't feel that stress because it's not good for your body always try and keep yourself relaxed that's why i try not to stress out anymore especially now like in april that's me i'm going to be more healthier i said this i'm going to be more healthier especially when we know that we're going to be starting our treatment very very soon um so yeah i was very very happy at that appointment i've never been more happy about an appointment in my life um what else has been happening i am a year older i had my birthday on the 25th of march i am 26 now and i cannot believe it in my mind i'm still like 23 so it's very strange to be 26 i had a lovely little day for my birthday i went to my mum's and i seen them and then i came back and me and matthew went to go and see what men want so it was my day so i decided what we were doing so i went to the cinema and seen that and it was funny very funny very very funny um what else has happened i don't think anything else oh we sold our car because it was a pile of junk and we're trying to save up and get a new one again um what else happened no i don't think anything else has happened because i've been on holiday from work this week 
So yes, happy Mother's Day everyone, all the mummies out there and all the mummies to be and if you're not a mum, you will be a mum and happy Mother's Day to you. Um, but yes, thanks for watching my videos guys and thanks for always being there for me. I really appreciate everything and I see all my new subscribers, I get notifications and I check up on my page all the time, check up on Instagram all the time. So thanks for following mine and Matthew's journey, we really really do appreciate it and if you do have any questions about anything, don't don't hesitate to ask me. I'm always here and I will help anyone as best as I can. But thanks for watching my videos, guys. If you do like watching my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put your bell on and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.